we like to try all kinds of different projects when it comes to crafting, but this one, well, I guess you could call it a covert operation. Let's head into the craft corner today because we're actually meeting up with someone named Rick Covert, and we're doing something we have not done before. We are working with deer skin. We're doing some hide work here today. Good to have you with us. Thank you. Okay, I got to get the, the history of this here. How did you get started working with leather? I ride motorcycles. Oh, well, and if you ride a motorcycle, you, you got to wear leather. wear leather, right. <laughs> So uh, a guy said to me, hey, you do leather, can you make a, a leather shirt? And I never made one. Really? Uh, uh, yeah. So uh, apparently I can. I just butchered the hide real good. <laughs> so how do we, you're wearing, a, what is this, what kind of hide is this? This is elk skin. This is elk skin. Okay, we're, what kind of medium are we working with here? Is this? This is elk skin. That's elk skin. What about this one here? This, this is like This butter. is deer skin. Oh, this is deer skin. Okay. Do you actually do every step of it? I mean, coming up with the, the color and everything, or? Everything is my design. I pick the colors. I don't do the tanning. You don't do the tanning. That's okay. a career in itself. Well, let's see what you can do here. You've got this beautiful vest for us, and you're going to show us a few of the secrets and tips for that. Uh, this is a very simple vest. Okay. There's three pieces. There's a front. There's a back. After this pattern is cut out, mm -hmm. the real and only trick on this is learning how to stitch with lace. After this pattern is cut, mm -hmm. the idea is to take the back panel mm -hmm. and lay it on top of the front panel, leaving a half inch overlap. Okay. All right. I'm with you so far. There is a thonging chisel that you just drill right across here. Hammer, 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 hammer. Oh, okay. And it cuts a diagonal hole. Making your life a lot easier. A lot easier. <laughs> After that, simply take the leather needle, mm -hmm. a piece of thong, starting underneath, very near the neck or the shoulder line, and thread up and down and up and down and up and down. How do you finish the stitch? You back stitch right through the lace. Now, do you want these stitches to be really tight, or is that kind of your own personal preference? No, you can't pull a stitch in, in a piece of leather. If you do, you're going to get ruffles all the way through. So after you do this, take a look at it and go, hmm, that's either right or wrong. Well, I'm going to tell you folks how you can get your hands on the instructions for this. You want to send a self-addressed stamped envelope to the address on your screen or go to our website, WLOS.com, and click on More Info, and we'll get you set that way. And when all is said and done, check it out. You've got all kinds of options here. Uh, this is really neat. This is amazing, the design. How fun is this? So I can go ride motorcycles with you now, right? Absolutely. Come on. All right. Well, we're out of here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rick. This was a lot of fun. And remember, you can find out what Rick is up to as well. You're part of the Maggie Valley Craft Show group, a great group of folks out there in Maggie Valley. So go out and check that out.